Zack. <laughs> this is Zack. Um, so he's not an ancient crystal skull. The crystal skull itself is contemporary, carved in the last 15 years. But the, the being inside the crystal skull, the, the ability to put a being inside a crystal skull came from Atlantis. It, it was basically, the Atlanteans were very uh, advanced in their use of crystals and they knew that through crystals they could communicate with other dimensions. And they did. And they were actually carving the crystal skulls for storage, for storage of uh, information. And they discovered that it was an extra special way of working with crystal because of our communication enhancement by having the similar shape of our own skull. And so when they realized this, they also were able to much more easily speak with other dimensions and other beings from other star systems. And through that, they also discovered that they could bring the being into the skull. And some beings actually asked if they could stay in the skull so that they could be on Earth. So the, all the ancient crystal skulls are incredible, powerful beings because of that. And um, I had one when I was mine. However, that particular one is now in the hands of some Mayans in Mexico. And so I wanted my own. So this Zach here is a contemporary crystal but the being inside comes from Aldebaran. And he is an enlightened being who's never had a body before. This is as close as he gets. He's got an incredible sense of humor. He's very highly evolved. And it's an honor to actually work with him. Although I have to admit to not knowing how to fully take advantage of him yet, I'm still. So far, I just ask him questions and he answers. The channeling, I suspect, he's supposed to help me with channeling with Quetzalcoatl, which is kind of a hit and miss situation at the moment. Um, right at the moment, I don't know. You got anything you want to say? He says the times are special. The portals have all been opened. When we think of ourselves as uh, just a human, we're diminishing our power as enlightened beings, which is what we always were and always will be. And the only way to really be that is to claim that, know that, and don't forget that. Each one of us has been given this opportunity. The portals will not remain open forever. 16 years and then they start to close again. So in the next 16 years we have an, uh, an opportunity to remember who we are and bathe in that. It's very important that we bathe in our immortality, our unlimited love, our very, very special connection with other worlds dimensions, kingdoms, people, so many beautiful people, seven billion people came to earth to have this opportunity and every one of them needs to be given the chance and loved and guided to that opening, to that portal and, and shown how to jump. He says it's very easy, but you have to believe it. And it's why you're here. And it's why he's here, to witness it, to encourage it, to raise the frequency to help it, and to be of service. And then he will be buried again, so the people in the future have a chronicle of these times. 
and that's his job. And he loves you. <laughs> I love you too. We all love that. Anybody who really knows that, loves that.